Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It has been forever since I have filmed. It's, I mean, it's probably been close to like six, seven months, maybe even eight months. I don't know. It's been, it has been so long. I have missed doing YouTube. I know I haven't really been like on it very long or whatever, but um, it's been forever, forever. And um, I was at work today and I've been talking about how I used to do these videos and um, obviously I still don't have a camera. It's not good quality. Um, I don't have any of my backgrounds. We, uh, I moved again to a different rent house and it's no excuse because I've been in this rent house for months now. But I have no idea where any of my back, my backdrops, my, my, any of my filming stuff that I, that I had bought or was using. So, um, ignore the mess behind me because it is messy. I don't have my sheets on my bed. I'm doing laundry at this very moment. So, there is that. Um, I'm also rocking the natural look today because I just got home from work and it has been a very long, very exhausting day. So, um, I'm going with it. Anyways, with that being said, um, this video isn't going to be a makeup tutorial or, um, you know, testing new products, but I will show you some of my favorite beauty products that I have been using over the past several months. Some of them are new, some of them are old, or new to me, not really new, new. Um, but yeah, so, um, sit back, relax, grab you a wine, grab you some snack, and let's jump into this video. All right, guys, so the first thing I want to talk about, thanks to Miss Laura Lee on her channel, she was raving about it, she loved it, is this little guy right here. This um, is the Y6 brush from Morphe. It's flat. If you have not tried this for your foundation or just, it's just, it's the it's bomb. It's so good. It's it It blends, it's so like, I don't know why it took me so long to jump on the bandwagon because she was talking about it for like a year probably and I was like, uh, I'm more of a beauty blender kind of girl. I like my sponges, but I caved and I bought the Y6 and I am obsessed. I'm obsessed. Um, but I've been using it to do my foundation when I'm actually wearing foundation um, and I love it. The next thing I want to talk about too is this primer right here by Cover FX. It is the mattifying primer with anti-acne treatment your girl needs this because we all know that i struggle with skincare problems i've talked about it on many videos before still struggling my face is breaking out my chin and stuff whatever my chest it's what can a girl do it happens it happens it's you know hormones whatever but um if you have oily skin this is a very very good primer on me hold it up so y'all can see it this is what it looks like this is the sample size i don't have the uh, the big size with me it's it's i don't know where it's at but uh it's a mattifying primer it fills in my pores i've loved it every time that i do my makeup nowadays let's see what else do i have to talk about um i actually found a new mascara i know i know I was stuck on that, what was it, that Maybelline Lash Blast, I think is what it calls from the drugstore, and I haven't been able to find it, like anytime I go I just can't, I can't find it. So um, anyways, I found this one at Walmart here, it is the Shayla Maybelline New York collaboration, um, it's called Colossal Big Shot Volume Express. Um, I've been using it every, like, when I run out of the house, even if I don't put makeup on, I'll throw on a little bit of mascara and um at work everyone's always like oh i love your makeup and i'm just like hmm i'm not wearing any but thanks <laughs> so anyways um by the way if you can hear the fans in the background guys i'm so sorry i have like three of them going it's it's so freaking hot in this freaking bedroom so um if you can hear it i'm sorry just ignore it um like i said i just felt like jumping on here and we're just going with it um, so the next thing I want to talk about is a foundation. It is the Forever, no, for, Forever 21. I can't talk today, obviously. This is the Dior Forever Skin Foundation. Um, I bought this only because Jaclyn Hill was raving about it for years and years. Um, it 
it's just it's good like she said it's awesome I love it and um, it does kind of mattify and uh, it, it gets a little darker than what my skin shade actually is maybe they, I don't know if there's a lighter shade than this I mean I'm as I'm as pale as it comes so I don't know if there's an even lighter shade than this this is uh, in the shade 10 10 I guess it doesn't say tin, but um, it's a very good foundation. I enjoy it. Um, if you haven't tried it yet, it is pricey, but I assure you, it is it it lasts all day. Let's see. Let's see. Mm, speaking of Miss Jaclyn Hill, the next two things that have been my most used products over the last few months are. Bum, bum, bum. If you're not on the Jaclyn Hill bandwagon, we can't be friends. We just can't. It just... I'm just kidding. Totally kidding. But these palettes are uh, awesome. I love them. I know there was like some issues or something. People like drama. People were talking about, oh, they're so not good. The quality's not as good as her original palette. Well, I don't know what you guys are talking about because mine, I love them. I got the... Uh, dark magic palette looks like this my favorite favorite shade in this palette is this one what's it called the power cut the silver oh it is literally just and y'all probably seen a million videos and swatches of these but i mean like the lighting in here sucks but it's so pretty it's so like silvery and just i love it it's one of my favorite shades um I've actually, I actually don't use this one as much as this one. This is the Arms and Gorgeous palette. And when I first saw this, like, my first reaction was, ooh, those colors, you know, like, they're, this is like a fall palette, and, you know, it's fall, so, but I, I didn't think I would use this palette as much as the other one, because I don't really use a lot of, like, oranges and greens and yellows and, and all that, but I use this palette almost every day or when I do put my makeup on today was not one of those days but I use the heck out of this palette and it is so good um it goes you can you can do so many looks with it it's just so good and the, the pigment and everything is just um, it's amazing half of the shimmer shades over all of all the shimmer shades I still wet my brushes when I use them but the first time I used them I didn't and the pigment was still just as good it was amazing but um I, I I cannot promote this enough it is so, such a good palette and I love the fact that she put mirrors in these um, in these ones instead of like her original palette that was huge and didn't have it but they're good for traveling and that's why I like them I literally have this in my bag anytime I go anywhere so yeah there was that um, the next thing I'm going to talk about is, it's not new, it was um, the Kathleen Lights Colourpop collaboration. What was this? It was uh, her Dreamy lipstick. Is it Satin Lip? Satin Lip. It's her Ultra Satin Lip from that collection that she did with them. It, um, it's, it's my go-to nude lip shade. I wear it with almost every look. Um, it's just, it's my go-to nude lip. It's not new, but it's, you know, and it's not really new to me because I've had it for so long. I'm probably going to need, I, I probably need to order a new one, but, um, this is always in my bag as well. It's, it's literally just my go-to nude lip and it's a very good, it doesn't, it doesn't feel bad on my lips and I love it. So if you need a good nude lip, ladies, this is it. The next thing I want to talk about is a face wash that I have been loving. It's, um, the Skin Landry gentle foaming face wash this is what it looks like i think i think i got this from sephora and um i think i got it and then i actually forgot that i had got it but i started using it and it actually feels so good on my skin it doesn't dry my skin out um because i always have problems with face washes may dry and like right or like in this area and then around my nose it they, they tend to they dry dry me out so bad but um I've been using this and it has helped with a lot of my skincare issues that I have been having. Um, 
of course, you know, being a being a girl with your hormones and all, you're gonna break out, or at least I do, because I have acne prone skin. But um, I'm getting that silver everywhere <laughs> since I swatched it. Uh, but um, if you're looking for a good face wash, and I don't think this was that pricey, I um, I, I can't tell you the exact price of it, but it um, it's worked really well and it's not harsh on my face, and I enjoy it a lot. So yeah. Um, the last thing that I have been obsessing over is, it's not also not new, is this um, ColourPop Lippy Stick. It's in the shade Weekender, and it's a gorgeous red. So, you know, when you're going out, you want to pop a color. That's a swatch of it right there. It's just such a pretty deep red, and it just, you know, it... The name's Weekender, so you know you're going out for a weekend. It's good. That's what it's good. But um, those are all the products that I've been using a lot. I mean, I still use the same primer or concealer. You know, I haven't changed my routine up very much lately. But I do want to start filming more videos, like um, testing out new products or. Um, if y'all want to see any more tutorials, because I know I've done a few. I did that rainbow look a while back with the um, Zulu palette. I can't remember the name of it now. It's it's actually sitting in my bathroom. But, um, you know, I did uh, that bluish green look that one time because someone requested it. So, um, oh man, I'm still getting glitter all over me. Anyways, but um, I missed, I've missed YouTube. I can't wait to jump back into it. Um, Hopefully, within the week, I'll be filming some tutorials. Um, I plan on doing a makeup haul very soon because I have not bought many new products lately at all. And um, I am I'm itching to go buy some new products. There are some eyeliners I want to try. There's some new um, foundation I want to try. It's not new, but it's uh, I've been hearing a lot about it and good things about it. So I want to do that. Um, I want to do some challenges like the concealer, full face of concealer challenge, you know, whatever you guys would want to see because, you know, I'm here for y'all to watch and entertain. So with that being said, um, I'm back. I hope you subscribe to my channel and give my videos a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments down below what you would like to see. And, um, yeah. Anyways, thanks guys for watching. And, um, look out for some new videos with hopefully my backgrounds and stuff. Because as soon as I get off of this, that is what I'm going to start looking for. Because this back here is just crazy. 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 Anyways, um, anyways, see you guys later. Bye.